What's going on guys, it's your boy CMB. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and let's get into this one really quickly. Now guys, uh, yesterday Mike Coppinger announced uh, some somewhat surprising news uh, about Errol Spence Jr. and Keith Thurman trying to finalize a deal uh, for a fight uh, this coming April. Now the fact that Errol and Keith Thurman are possibly fighting in April wasn't really the surprise. Uh, the surprise was that this fight is contracted to be at 154 pounds. Now, we don't have any confirmation yet, so take it all with a grain of salt, but this is what was being reported yesterday. Now, that left a lot of questions, of course. Uh, the number one question, whether or not Errol Spence Jr., uh, is he going to 154 and not returning to 147? Will he face off against Terrence Crawford? Uh, why would Keith Thurman take a fight with Errol Spence Jr. at 154, being that it's not a fight for a title? It just left a lot of questions like that. Now, as far as Keith Thurman goes, uh, fighting Errol at 154 uh, with a title not being on the line, uh, my best guess is it's a financial situation. So, uh that's that's the guess that I'm given on why he was willing to face uh, Errol Spence Jr. at 154 instead of 147, which he is the WBC 147 pound mandatory for uh, Errol the True Spence Jr. So I don't know. We haven't heard Keith Thurman say anything about that yet. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see if this is all true. Now, the big question, like I said, will Errol Spence Jr., if he does fight Keith one time Thurman at 154, Will he go back down to 147 and face off against uh, his arch nemesis and the WBO 147 pound champion Terrence Bud Crawford? Honestly, I believe that fight will take place. And yesterday, uh, Mike Coppinger did say that uh, if he if he wins this fight with Keith Thurman, he has 60 days uh, to negotiate with Terrence Bud Crawford to make that fight happen. If that doesn't happen, then he has to face off against the winner of Victor Ortiz and Imantes Stanionis. Uh, I think they're the WBA uh, mandatory, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so honestly, I think he will go back to 147 to face off against Terrence Bud Crawford. And the reason being is because that was always Errol's dream to become undisputed at 147 before moving up to 154 pounds. You have Terrence Bud Crawford. He has the last piece of the puzzle. Uh, these two guys, uh, the best in their division, in my opinion, and he, I don't think he can just leave like that. I think this has to be resolved. I think this fight will happen. I think both of the guys want the fight. I think the sticking point was the negotiations, financials, and you know time. I, I think a lot of that played into this fight not taking place, and I think we will get the fight. We just won't get it in the time that we wanted it. We wanted it last year in November. It didn't happen. Uh, Terrence Buck Crawford took a nice little tune-up fight, which I think was a good thing, you know, to get his skills sharp. And I think Errol Spence Jr. fighting Keith one-time Thurman, uh, it's good for him, too, to get some work in with a guy that likes to move around the ring because we haven't seen him with a guy like that. And, you know, it got me to thinking a lot when I watched Boots Ennis uh, fight this past weekend. He was in the ring with a mover, uh, the guy Karen, and Boots couldn't touch him. You know, it, it took a while uh, for Boots to land, you know, clean, clean shots. And he was kind of chasing him around the ring. He wasn't cutting off the ring. He got a little frustrated there. So I want to see what Errol Spence Jr. looks like uh, with a guy that moves the way Keith Thurman moves. Uh, Keith Thurman is a good fighter. You know, he hasn't been active as active as somebody like Errol Spence, but he is a solid fighter. He only has one loss, and that was to Manny Pacquiao. So I think it's interesting to see Errol fighting Keith Thurman, even if it's at 154. Now, why is it at 154? Is it because Errol doesn't want to give Keith Thurman the opportunity to capture a title? Uh, maybe Errol Spence doesn't want to put the titles in jeopardy fighting Keith Thurman. It's probably one or the other. I don't know which one it is. But uh, you guys tell me what you think uh, about what's going on with Keith Thurman and Errol the True Spence Jr. fighting at 154. Why do you think this fight is uh, going to happen at 154 instead of 147? You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section. It's the CMB. 
I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.